appears to be ready to shake up his national security team. CBS News confirms that top White House aides have signed off on a plan to remove Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. His most likely replacement is CIA Director Mike Pompeo. Tillerson is scheduled to have lunch at the White House today with the President and Defense Secretary Jim Mattis. Mr. Trump declined an opportunity to end the speculation about Tillerson yesterday. Chip Reed is at the White House with more on the timing of the personnel overhaul. Chip, sounds like it could be awkward today at the White oh, House. Good morning. Oh, oh yes, good morning. The, the White House insists that a plan for a replacement is not imminent, uh, but uh, the, the relationship between the president and his secretary of state has certainly been strained for quite a long time. And now we are told that a plan is in place and that it's been approved by Chief of Staff John Kelly. Three, two, one. President Trump officially rang in the holiday season and a new year may bring big changes to his cabinet. Do you want Rex Tillerson on the job, Mr. President? He's here. Rex is here. Tillerson was at the White House Thursday and the president suggested that meant his secretary of state was still on the job. His spokeswoman dismissed rumors that a change was imminent. When the president loses confidence in someone, they will no longer uh, serve in the capacity that they're in. But CBS News confirms there's a plan to put CIA Director Mike Pompeo at the State Department, replacing him with either retired Vice Admiral Robert Harward or Arkansas Senator and Trump loyalist Tom Cotton. I'm proud to be representing the people of Arkansas. Would you like to be CIA Director? <laughs> I'm very proud to be representing the people of Arkansas. Cotton denied that he was looking for a new job, but the president has disagreements over foreign policy with his Secretary of State, who, for example, opposes the president's desire to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And the handling of tensions with North Korea boiled over just a few weeks ago. We disagree on a couple of things. Sometimes I'd like him to be a little bit tougher. That came after reports that Tillerson has become frustrated with the president and had even referred to him as a moron. I have never considered leaving this post. The reorganization would continue the president's trend of appointing former military officers to powerful administration posts. Harvard is a former Navy SEAL and Cotton was an infantry officer in Iraq and Afghanistan. Biana? Oh, to be a fly on the wall at that lunch today, Chip. Thank you.